I have already painted over my mural. I know, it was a good one. to try something new. So I covered it using this white paint from Bag Paint and Primer. And this, this little brush over here. It's about five coats. I think it's a really good job for how many colors I have on here. My wall has dried. It is ready to try a new design. I'm wall with only one color. So we're only going to use black to do the pattern. I just wanted to do something simple. So let's begin. I'm just going to do this on my head, and we're just going to do this a lot of times. So I am using this bristly brush from Home Depot but after using this I realized this wasn't the brush to use because the bristly edges made the leopard print shapes not smooth at all so during the middle of the video you will see myself change brushes and that is why but anyway so as I am putting the paint on the wall I am doing random squiggly jiggly C shapes and circles and it's basically the same kind of pattern that you have to follow you want to do some that are connected and some that aren't connected and you want to do some random black spots that is really the basis of a leopard print and it shouldn't be perfect because the leopard print shapes are all different shapes and sizes and thicknesses and thinnesses so that one almost looks like a crab claw the goal is to basically draw squiggly wiggly o shapes and c shapes and fill the wall with the same pattern and it should look something like a leopard print Anyway, painting aside, let's just talk about life as an artist. So this is something I've been really feeling. Let's say art is your passion and you leave it as a hobby while you're working a 9 to 5 job. Trust me, I get it. The temptation to just work and pay your bills is so tempting. You think about how you could have such a comfortable life. Well, maybe comfortable isn't the word, but maybe I should say a secure life knowing that you're gonna get a certain amount every month and you can choose whether to leave that job or go to another job to increase the amount, but you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, you realize that the time you have working means less time you have to really work on your passion. And I think that when you're an artist, you've got to sacrifice something in order to pursue your passion. But some people out here have superpowers and they can just finish their 9 to 5 and get straight to work. Somehow harvest the energy, but not me mate. When I worked in food, I was not having it. I was knackered after work and I wanted to go to sleep. As the law of attraction says, or let's say people who have reached a level of success always say it's repetition, it's consistency and it's faith. And all of those things do include your time so I figured working a nine-to-five job wasn't going to be good for me and so I still have a job I'm still doing a freelance job that isn't creative but it still allows me the time to pursue things like doing this mural and making prints and working on my store and I've realized that even though paying my bills comfortably and living a comfortable life is something that I have to sacrifice being an entrepreneur is being comfortable with being uncomfortable. It is annoying, it's gotta be done with faith, knowing that a big risk or an uncomfortable temporary period of your life will lead to a bigger reward. <gasps> oh God, I have such an oily face, oh Jesus and my wrist really hurts. But here is the finished leopard print wall. Um, it took about four hours to do in total and your wrist is going to hurt if you do this at home, like mine is right now. But if you like this video, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of